Oh my gosh. That huge stain is out. What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. This vehicle is a 2020 Kia Soul. And as you guys can see, it has some insane stains on the back seats. The floor is absolutely covered in trash, food, stains. It's even soaking wet. Well, the previous owner is a single mom. She did reach out to me on Instagram and said that her son spilled something on the back seats and she's looking to have the vehicle detailed. And it wasn't until I seen this vehicle in person that I realized how bad it truly was. It is a lot worse than just some staining on the rear seats. And this vehicle is in some desperate need of a deep cleaning, but that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna completely strip the seats and carpet to give this vehicle the deepest clean we possibly can. But the bad news is it's already 5.58 p.m. on Saturday, and this vehicle needs to be done by Sunday at 4 p.m. So it looks like we are pulling an all-nighter here at Mad Detailing. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this disaster detail. And just like any other detail, we are going to start with cleaning the engine bay first. And what we're using is our pressure washer to blow off all the loose dirt and debris. Then we're going to simply spray our extreme APC onto the surface. It is diluted 10 to 1. We're going to let the product do all the magic and simply spray it off. There's no need to scrub it. Simply spray on and spray off. And moving on to cleaning the wheels, we're using our extreme APC on the tires and fender wells. And for the wheels, we're using our mad iron eraser along with multiple different brushes. So we make sure we get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. So moving on to the paint, we are first using our pressure washer to blow off all the loose dirt and debris before foaming the entire vehicle down with our mad detailing super blue soap in a foam cannon before giving the vehicle a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber washman. So after getting the vehicle washed, it's time to clay it. And for this, I'm using our mad detailing clay lube and a synthetic clay bar.
So starting off this detail, the first thing I'm doing is getting all the owner's personal items out of the vehicle. And I normally do that before I remove any type of trash. That way I can separate the good stuff from the actual trash. So that's what you guys see me doing now. And this is your friendly reminder to always pull your floor mats out when you're vacuuming your car because you never know because there was a ton of mold underneath here and it's super nasty and honestly the owner didn't even know so it's pretty crazy but yeah always pull your floor mats when vacuuming because you never know what's underneath them So moving on to the seat extraction, I'm using our Extreme APC as a cleaner, followed by Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor.
And moving on to cleaning the interior panels of this vehicle, I'm using our Mad Clean followed by a detail brush. And I'm also using a steamer to loosen up all the nasty dirt and grime that's on these panels. And one tip that I will give you guys is when you're using a steamer, make sure you guys move fast. Do not stay in one area for too long and make sure that your vehicle has not been previously dyed beforehand. What that means is like sometimes panels will be you know scratched up or whatever and some dealers or some people will go ahead and like actually repaint those panels and if you hit those repainted panels with a steamer you will remove it and it'll look absolutely terrible
I know you guys know anytime I pull the carpets out, I usually pressure wash it instead of extracting it, but it's like 4.30 in the morning right now as, as in the video, not obviously voiceover wise. But since it was 4.30 in the morning, it was completely pitch black outside. So unfortunately I couldn't pressure wash the carpet, but it did make for some insanely nasty, satisfying extraction clips. So hope you guys enjoy.
Since we decided to clay bar this vehicle right after we washed it, we can go ahead and polish it. And for this, we're using our Rupes six inch polisher, a red polishing pad and HD speed. No, that's not gonna be a full correction, but it is gonna remove a lot of swirls, scratches. It's also gonna leave behind a nice high gloss shine and a good layer of protection. Oh 
That is great. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm so happy right now. It looks brand new. Oh, I love it. 